the cougar. What else am I saying? See, I get lost when the dogs interrupt me. Hi, everybody. It's PJ. And I wanted to tell you I had two um, journeys, and somebody is trying to lead me somewhere. And I also wanted to tell you about the cup thing that you saw in the last video because I didn't really I t I wrote it in because it was in the, it, like it was so late that I was like just so shocked that I didn't kind of talk about it I did but you can barely hear me okay so let's talk about that first so I turned out the light and if you don't know what I'm talking about the cup thing I'll put a card here um I turned out the light and I started to go to sleep and um, like you know how you're right on the cusp of sleep and awake do you know what I mean like I wasn't completely asleep but I had probably been laying there for like six seven minutes you know ten minutes and just started to like fade off into the distance and um, I heard like do you know like um, when you take a styrofoam cup and smack it against something, it makes a certain sound. It's like pop, 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 right? It's like a hot, especially it was an empty cup. So it's like I could hear it banging, like it enough to get me awake um, underneath the chair that sits next to my bed, okay? So I was like, what the fuck? So I, I opened my eyes, I turned on the light, and the cup I had left, on my nightstand. I had finished it and put it on my nightstand and went to sleep. Now, mind you, I just got all new doors, all new windows. Like, I have no fan on. I have no, um, I have no fan on. I have no air conditioning on. Nothing. Like, use my alarm. You have to shut down. Or you have to close all the windows or my alarm won't go on. And I had set the alarm. I went to bed. Okay? So, nothing's moving in my house. And there's no draft anymore because uh, we got a brand new front door and all, right? I hear the banging and I look down. And as I look to the ground, because I, I can tell it's underneath the um, chair next to my bed, the cup kind of rolls out from under the bed and then rolls back against the leg of the chair. So it like rolls out and then on an angle just like rolls back. And I'm like, oh my God, it's a mouse. This is what I'm thinking. Like, I must have a mouse. He must have somehow climbed up and gotten inside the cup. And this is what's going on. Because I didn't automatically think like spirit or ghost, you know. I just thought it was something else, something alive moving it. So I wait to see the mouse come out and I realize nothing's in it but it's still moving and like I'm not breathing on it I'm not like nothing I'm dead asleep like I just want to go back to sleep truthfully okay so um so my my phone sits on my bed at night it it's plugged into my laptop which is also on the edge of my bed and then my phone so I just grabbed my phone and started recording it and the longer it sat there, the longer I realized it's moving under some other, like, and it would move when I talk. So you can barely hear me, but one of the things I say is, are you trying to tell me something? And it starts really going back and forth, back and forth. And then I had asked, um, is it Jeff? And it wouldn't move. I mean, I didn't feel like it was Jeff either, to be honest. I did not feel Jeff. I felt stranger. If that makes any, I wasn't scared, but what also kind of freaked me out is, um, we've ha I've had, we, I keep thinking we like somebody else was there. I had a cricket in the house uh, that day. It had been in the house for a couple days. Now, granted, it could have died. I mean, I don't know. But I realized, you know, when I went to sleep, the cricket was chirping, like loud and clear. It's been chirping, okay? So it's not like, knew that it's chirping but now it's not chirping and I'm like that creeped me out I was like uh why is the cricket not liking this you know why is he giving a because that's a warning from a cricket if a 
If a cricket's in your house, they get used to you and the dogs and all that. By the way, both dogs end of the bed, sound asleep. Um, but they get used to that. They get used to the sound of you. And then when you walk in a room, they don't, they just keep chirping, which drives people insane, as you know. Um, but this cricket, all, after days of this, had somehow stopped during this. And I was like, why isn't the cricket cricketing? <laughs> So then, um, I like built up the muster and got up out of bed and walked around the bed and looked around, picked up the cup, looked under the chair, like nothing was there. So I was like, all right, let's go to bed. So I get into bed and uh, I throw out the cup, make sure it's like still tight in the, in the trash can. I throw it out and then uh, I lay back down in bed and I turn out the light and I get the creepiest feeling, like like somebody's watching me. I'll tell you what else I felt like. I felt like I, I didn't get it. Whatever this message was or something, I didn't capture it because my mind kept going over it and it was too quiet in my house and I couldn't hear any crickets. And I was like, you know what? Lights on. And I turned the lights on and finally fell asleep. But I was like kind of waiting for something else that did not happen but I thought that was pretty creepy but let me tell you what did happen in the last two days um a I had a really great night with Jeff um he came to visit exactly like he was before he left me um we were in my room and I turned to him because I realized like completely what was happening like and I turned to him like it sometimes when I go to look for him, I know what's happening because there's intent there. But on the occasions that he shows up without me looking, um, sometimes I'm like, is this real? Is this a dream? What's going on? Like, because he is the one initiating, not me. And it makes me feel like, what's going on? This time, um, when he showed up in my bedroom. He did not get in bed with me this time. We, we, we left. But he shows up in my bedroom. And he, I say, I like, of course, every time I see him, I'm like, oh my God, you know, like, I'm just so happy. So I get up and I hug him. He had on a t-shirt and it smelled like him. It was like this whole thing. But anyway, and um, I said, and he said, come on, we're going to go. We got to go. And I said, okay. And then as we went to leave my house and get into his car, and it's funny because we didn't get into my car. Uh, we got into his that's gone. <laughs> but again, you're in a different plane. I said to him, is this really you? Are you really here? Like, and he said, he like looked at me and went, of course I'm here. And I'm like, okay, like, because I know that I'm out of body. Like, I talked to him about it, which is just crazy. I said, I know I'm out of body, but, like, are you really here? And he's like, of course I am. And I said, okay. All right. I just need to make sure, like, this isn't just some weird dream. I'm, I'm like, talking to you. And he's like, he just keeps looking at me like, you're stupid. So we get in the car and we start to drive and we're just driving through roads. There's no real, um, he's driving There's and there's no destination. And he reaches out and puts his hand on mine. So I hold his hand and I said, where are we going? And he's like, I just wanted to drive around with you. We haven't done that in a long time. And I was like, oh yeah, we haven't. And so we like drove around. I talked to him about tennis. I was like telling him about tennis. And I said, do you realize what's going on? Like, do you know about tennis? And he said, no. And I said, do you care? And he's like, not really. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. Cause like, I guess what's in his mind is not the same. So I asked him, we didn't drive around long. We probably drove around for like five minutes. I said to him, are you gonna leave me? again and he said yes and I said um I said you're gonna leave me again I said why do you have to leave why can't you just stay like why can't you just be at my house or whatever and he's like I'm always here it's you that leaves and I was like oh I guess so huh 
And he's like, it's okay, it's okay. So I was like, all right. So then we come back in my house, like through my front door, so crazy. And we go into my bedroom and he says, I'll be right back and walks out. And when he comes back in, I can see he's altering. Like his body is like fading or something. It's like, he's not as there as he was. And I said, so I, I was sitting on my bed and I jumped up out of bed and, and like ran over to him and said, I don't want to get out of this. I want to stay here. And he's like, no, 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 that's not like, he didn't say that's not possible. But I could just read it in his eyes. Like, no, no. So I put my arms around him like this and he put his arms around me and was, I mean, it was just so awesome. And he was like rubbing my back. And I was like, I just want to stay. I just want to stay. And he's like, it's okay. It's okay. And he didn't say I'll be back or, because he really didn't. Actually, I went to him. Like, I guess he can't really come to me. Like, I told you about the one time where he kind of met me at the cabin. But he doesn't really, he's not actually coming into my bedroom. I'm leaving my body and creating the same scenario and he is able to enter into that so he's like no no and then i look up at him and i just see his face just start to like transform into him being younger and i said am i am i leaving am i leaving and he kissed me on the forehead and that was it it was lovely though it felt like a true hey hi how you doing kind of thing even though he's not as talkative as he used to be I don't I think that there's parameters in which he can even like tell me about so okay so I accept it I don't care as long as I get to see him once in a while I'm so happy when I see him anyway okay so that was that and then um okay so then uh the next night not the night of the ah not the night of the cup the night after that um which is just a couple nights ago now. Put I put on a Bob Proctor um, Hemi Sync video, uh, video. As like I said, my my laptop is sitting in my bed, and I put that on, and I kick back, and I start to go into meditation, and very quickly, boom, I'm in my room. I'm out of body. I'm in my room. I open my eyes and look where my closet was is a wooden window and it's big it's t it's a tall window long and wide and it almost looks like a barn door kind of window um, and when I say window there's no glass I, I, I'm only calling it a window because it doesn't go to the floor like a, like a door but it has like a door handle on it that it actually like a black wrought iron handle on it and it looks like a barn door and I I I go out of body I look up literally look up for the first time out of body and the door is in front of where my closet should be and I'm like what is this and all of a sudden it smashes open and this and it's dark it's black and I was like like the thing went boom and I was like oh my god and then this hollow sound comes from it like it wasn't like a, a person or a being making that sound it was like wherever that door led was was this vacuum so I sat there waiting to see if something would like get pulled into that from where I was sitting but it didn't it just sat open and I didn't like it like I wasn't like petrified or something but I didn't like where it was taking me so I changed my mind uh, well you know you can do that though when you're astral projection you can just say I don't I don't want to do this and go somewhere else well I didn't think to go somewhere else I just I just leaned back on my bed like this I held on to the edge and I was like I don't want to go in there I'm not going in there and then almost like um, like a zoom out of a camera it got farther and farther and farther away and then boom I was back in my body that was a little creepy and I've been getting little creepy stuff so I'm like 
why I like I love doing this so much and somebody I love beyond belief is on the other side and I love interacting with him so much that I don't want to give up what I'm doing because of creepy ass shit and I'm like ah and I didn't I mean obviously I haven't yet but I just don't want it to get to the point where I feel like um, I feel like there is something else going on some message that I'm not getting maybe I'm crazy I'm gonna try to do some meditation on it I'm gonna try to do some like some sort of uh, retrieval of what's going on I'll do it, it's a shame that the one girl that read me all the time she died and then um, I don't really have a reader I trust around here anymore. I had many, but they've all moved. They've all something. So I feel, so I feel like I can't find out what I need to find out. Do you know what I mean? I feel like, uh, so frustrating. So I need a reading by somebody who doesn't know me so that I can see what they come up with. Because they're not going to come up with, oh, you know, you're running into money next week. That's not going to be what I get. If they're true, they'll see that I'm on the other side a lot. That, like, And be able to tell me, am I dabbling with something that I'm going too far? Is, are these? I almost feel like there's a warning here. And I hate that. I don't want a warning. I want you to help me. I want to go deeper. I, I need a reading. <laughs> I need a reading by somebody good who uh, can tell me. I feel like I'm missing a sign here. And I'm pretty good at that stuff, but I feel like I'm missing it. And I would really love to know what I'm missing. But anyway, that's what's been going on in my astral plane life. Uh, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Thumbs down if you don't. Either way, got you watching me. I manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think, believe it, you can have it too. Like some really cool astral projection experiences that just, that like, it's like proof of heaven. So for me, like, I don't really believe in, like, heaven and hell type of, like, I'm sure there are places that are like hell, and I'm sure there are places that are like heaven. I don't know that there's somebody judging, but maybe. I, I don't discount anything. I just don't have a specific pattern into what it is. But, um, you can get there now. You don't have to wait. You can go play now. You just have to have the discipline of mind to say, I'm not going to watch TV tonight. I'm not going to do this tonight. I'm going to go through these steps to help open up my third eye, to help open up my chakras, to help get me across that bridge. And once across, it's almost impossible to stop going. <laughs> but it's okay because there's loved ones on the other side. And it's really wonderful. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.